Hey guys, it's Battalion Clash Gaming. I'm here to show you guys our recent war against King of Kings. Mm. Their clan is actually stronger than ours, but as far as attacking goes, um, they're actually uh, not bad, but they just failed on our 1, 2, 3, and a couple of our bases down below. Um, so you can see they have like max the most heavy defense base. This one right here is uh, 3 starred by me using a dragon attack. Uh, it was ideal to use a dragon on this even though they have a max, you know. This one right here is on ground. And it has max uh, expo and inferno towers. And both air, def uh, air sweepers are actually facing down which is just weird. And the archer tower is decent. It's like tunnel 9 defense. So using a dragon your walls doesn't really matter. And this one right here is ideal to do a lightning zap quake because you can get all three into one uh, one pair of zap, one set of zap quake and probably use this one right here since that one is actually uh better and this one right here it's also easy for a lava hound and then the balloon attack and this one right here you can get it access with the king and queen uh use a uh, king queen and healer on this side right here because I want to make sure that the queen could actually last longer. This attack actually had a fail before. It was an attack by a Town Hall 10. But it has a Town Hall 9 kind of um, spell and defense. I mean offense, dragon. So I have a level 5. So my dragon actually lasted longer. And I also use a heal spell instead of a rage. Actually we could watch that first and see what happened. And then we're gonna go over what happened on the second attack. Um, okay, good. Ryan, we play number. Oops, we play number. I think it's like number two. Yeah. So the idea, the idea was to actually zap quake this first, and then zap quake this air defense second. See this one right here, it missed, I don't know how it did that, but it missed the second archer tower. Maybe because uh, it wasn't centered when it was actually did a zap quake. And the second time right here, as you can see, it also kind of like missed that part right there. Should have quake like this side right here, so you have a, you know, damage on the building. And, I mean more buildings, see that right here. Drop the queen first, and then the healer. Wait till the expo targets the queen, so that actually the, the healer would lock on the queen. And then drop the king. So the king would actually charge on the queen. So it was perfect timing right there. Uh, the rage was a little bit premature. It was like way too early. But one of the expos is actually hooked up on a queen, um, on a king. This one right here. You got the golem and the balloon. This was actually scouted by one of our players. Uh, one of the adjustments I made also was attack a uh, dragon on this side right here. Instead of on the left side. So it kind of helped out. See, I had to follow up on the dragon instead of the dragon already being there to actually attack that. And the queen would never had a hard time. Now she's having a hard time and died. One of the mistakes right there is because of that. So, fastest forward. And drop the rest. Use the rage. Get the core. The dragons can actually get the core without the rage because they are strong enough and I suggest you guys upgrade your dragons now because they are gonna have an update where the dragon would actually do more damage faster I mean not more damage but it's just faster and instead of like waiting so long it's kind of like how the Valkyrie was updated it used to be the Valkyrie would just stand there and it would just like stare at the building and then strike now it's like a little bit different So this one right here is the same thing. Did a zap quake in this air defense. But this one right here did not miss because we had made to make sure and see where the earthquake was. Damage all these buildings right here. Same thing. King Queen killed the queen. She waited for the king to actually this time last a little longer. And then the support of the dragon to kill the golem was actually there. So you can see the queen actually lasted longer because uh she, ha she she has to she she doesn't have to worry about the golem so she only has to worry about herself and the expo and that's it so as you can see right here drop also oh i forgot about this one kind of like drop the 
um, what do you call it? The dragon over there, tracking for the queen for a little bit, and then see the dragon right here. Instead of using the rage, they actually lasted pretty long, but you know, there's two of them that actually, uh, yeah. Well, I say three of them, so actually benefited from the heal spell. But you can see this space was actually overkill. Even though there's only like three dragons, that's 60 true space, like left. Uh, this is the composition I use. I'm kind of like still mixing this. I'm kind of trying to new to this uh, dragon attack. I've seen a lot of people uh, doing dragon attacks, and you know uh, when I was tunnel seven and tunnel eight, that was my favorite troop, uh, the three star base. And I also see a couple of like tunnel nines actually doing this, and it's a lot harder now with the air defense the way you control it. It's also harder when your queen is actually low. Believe it or not, level 30 queen is low. It's not like a, a level 40. It's like a big difference. That's why uh, Zalema's uh, queen also died a lot faster because the queen is le it's not like it's below 35. Anything that's 35, you get the last second to last ability. It's actually good. Um, then right here, we're going to show this attack. I think this is a gobo. Yeah. A gobo ho attack. This is a weird base. Uh, actually, uh... I've seen this base a lot. Uh, not very rare, but it's not also uh, common. But I see this. Um, the one one thing this is like the fail. It's like the jump right there. Uh, it's meant to actually go with his west tower. But instead, it's like it went there, and then the. It's still the troop is actually able to actually overpower this base because of the hogs, scatter the hogs all over the place. See a couple of the hogs there die. As long as you do the surgical, you'll be okay. You don't drop all the hogs like in one spot. You just do like three or four per defense. Because you will target three and four uh, per defense. If you target three of them, your 12 hogs, they will get them. And then three defense will go down at the same time and they will move on to the next. Instead of like 20 hogs in one defense and they're just moving. You'll run out of time that way. And also, you will, there's a chance that you run out of hogs if you hit a double giant bomb. Well, number four is a crappy base, but this one right here is a yeah the dragon flower base kind of like designed a little bit different, but it's still a dragon flower base. You guys are very familiar with this if you guys ever actually seen a uh, tunnel eight. Uh, most bases are actually like this. Also easy to identify where the Tesla or the giant bombs are at. Uh, you don't want this when you're making a base. This is good that your air defense is actually centered, and then the. I mean the clan castle and then the air defense is also trans centralized with the surrounding the clan castle. But the problem with this base is there is no traps. You can see the hogs are just like marching on the base. I mean there's really nothing to stop them. So this is like actually a crappy base. If you actually look at it, it's like oh man this is like perfect for the hogs to actually 3 star this base. As you can see, it's like they're unstoppable. If you're good with hogs, you can pretty much wreck any single base you want. It's like a tunnel 8. Even though at level 3, I think at level 3, a tunnel 8 is actually strong enough. Because now there's no more a giant bomb. If you see a tunnel 8 and they have a defense of a tunnel 7, this one right here also ideal for like the hogs. Because you know why? Because of the gaps. If you see a lot of gaps and you see a lot of like kind of like when your hogs are going to get spring trap. Uh, this is when you actually get in trouble because you're gonna you're gonna have to make more than 17 hogs because three will get sprung. I don't know what ha oh wait I don't know what happened the dragon actually turned around they targeted the golem already but it turned around anyway so you're gonna need like uh, more than 18 because three will get sprung by one spring so there's six springs so the, your 18 hogs will actually there's a chance your 18 hogs can get sprung. I mean, the chances of that happening, all 18 of them, are actually, you know, not, like, common. But also, you know, it could happen. You don't want to take the chances. That's why you want either a P.E.K.K.A. or a level 6 Hogs in a Clan Castle. Now, there is actually a level 7 Hogs. It's even going to be more dangerous than Tunnel 8. Tunnel 8 is just going to be just another base, kind of like a Tunnel 7. When they get wrecked by a dragon. Although, I've seen a lot of people fail, like, dragon in our bases. Using drag dragon attacks in our bases. Tunnel 7. 
and this one right here using a go vox attack could use a hogs in this one because the defense this is what i was talking about it's like the defense is actually a tunnel seven defense this is the time that you can actually practice your hogs at level two or a level three can actually wreck the space the only thing you have to worry about is bomb tower right here if there's a gap like if this is placed like right here and there's a gap in the back you have to worry about that because your hogs would actually die a lot faster so this gaps right here behind this air defense those two gaps it could be a tesla or it could be a giant bomb you have to watch out for that because you have to heal your uh, hogs when they're er where in their area so the tesla popped in there so you know there's going to be a giant bomb next to it so when your hogs are getting close to it you can drop a heal spell and your hogs will basically survive usually a town hall they see that that's like a level one giant bomb so you could tell that from this uh, base right here since this is a town of seven defense you know the traps are actually going to be low not many people actually upgrading the traps first than a defense most people they upgrade the mortar first or like the wizard tower because they're thinking it's like those are heavy like defense they're actually the worst defense when you're going to war you want your archer tower you want your cannons you want your air defense first to upgrade because on the first uh initial attack like your very first tool to actually three star base is a dragon you cannot defend a, a dragon attack with mortars and wizard towers you just the the wizard tower will just basically uh i don't know buff <laughs> the dragon it's not it's just gonna scratch it it's not really like doing anything the archer tower the tesla and the air traps you know the the sweeper those are the ones that actually would affect a dragon attack even a level two dragon can I, I've seen a level two uh, dragon three star tunnel eight base because it has a crappy like uh, design layout. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like the video and you guys subscribe. Thank you.